Good evening, everyone. I'm William Galloway. Alabama took care of Texas A&M this afternoon in the Crimson Tide's 2020 home opener. 52 to 24 the final score. Let's take a look at how it all unfolded. Nick Saban trying to stay undefeated against former assistants, and today it's Jimbo Fisher he's going against. First quarter, Bama deep in their own territory. Mac Jones going to let it fly, and he's going to connect with John Mechie. 78 yard touchdown. Alabama goes up 7 to 0, but that's not the last we're going to see of Mechie. Here's a shot of some socially distant students in the student section, so abiding by the rules there. Later in the first quarter, it's Najee Harris. He takes it in from six yards out, 14 to zero Bama. That was one of his two first half TDs. And here's Mac Jones to a leaping Devontae Smith. A great grab there, and he got his toe down. Alabama extends the lead to 35 to 14 right before the half. In the fourth quarter now, I said it's coming again. Mac Jones drops back, finds John Mechie. Almost an identical play. This one, 63 yards, and put Alabama over the 50-point mark in the game. Mac Jones finished with 435 passing yards, and 181 of those ended up in John Mechie's hands. The two were in sync all afternoon. And obviously, you know, the receivers, you know, John Mechie and uh, Jalen Waddle and Smitty all played, you know, really, really well. And I thought Mac played really well in the game and, um, you know, kept his poise and, you know, didn't get affected by the tip ball interception uh, and just uh, did a really good job. So all in all, this is a great win for us. Um, you know, we had a lot of respect for this team, so I'm kind of proud of our players for what they did. Meanwhile, on the other sideline, Jimbo Fisher had to watch his Alabama receivers picked on his defensive backs all game long, especially Jalen Jones. But Jimbo said he knew that was coming. Well, I mean, I think he got better. I mean, of course, you're going to, always going to try a freshman. And we had some bracket coverage with him a lot, but sometimes we had to put him in man. You know what I mean? Occasionally here and there. I thought the one play down the sideline, I have to look at that again. I didn't like that call, but I thought he made a good play there. He got beat on a couple plays. But, you know, when you're a freshman playing, and you're going to play as good a wide house right there as you're playing. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's good baptism, that's for sure. But uh, they thought he competed well in the game and he bounced back and, and did some good things. But, you know, they're, they're dynamic. And when you, get, when you got dynamic guys that catch the ball and you get protection, you know, it really, it, it's a great combination. The Deep South's oldest rivalry took place in Athens tonight. Auburn versus Georgia under the lights in the first quarter. Georgia gets on the board first with a one-yard run from Zamir White. 7-0 dogs and second quarter action now. Georgia up 10-0. Stetson Bennett hits George Pickens, the Hoover native, for the 21-yard touchdown. Georgia dominated in the first half and the whole game, really. The dogs go on to win it 27-6. Let's take a look at some scores from around the SEC. South Carolina went on the road at Florida and lost to Kyle Trask and the Gators. Meanwhile, Jeremy Pruitt got the best of the Missouri Tigers, who Alabama defeated last week. And Arkansas defeated Mississippi State after Mississippi State got a big win last week at LSU. And what did the Tigers do? They won and redeemed themselves by winning at Vanderbilt tonight. And also, Lane Kiffin got his first win as the head coach of the Ole Miss Rebels in an overtime win at Kentucky. Let's go to Birmingham, UAB versus UTSA, and the Blazers honored the family of Alan Merrick before the game, presenting his family with his jersey. And Merrick, of course, was killed in an accidental shooting back in August. First half action now. Spencer Brown burst loose for a big gain down the sideline. He went 73 yards before finally being taken down. That sets up a really good field position and play for UAB when Bryson Lucero hits Myron Mitchell for an 18-yard touchdown. UAB goes on to win it 21 to 13 over UTSA. And Jacksonville State played at Florida State this afternoon, and it was a little more exciting than you might have expected. First quarter for Florida State, quarterback Tate Roadmaker's pass is picked off by Colby Fuquay, and the Gamecocks are on the board first. Later in the first quarter, the give to Josh Samuel and takes the ball 20 yards and Jacksonville State goes up 14 to 0. Who would have saw this coming? Well, Florida State bounced back and ended up defeating Jacksonville State 41 to 24. In some basketball news this afternoon, Alabama men's basketball landed its second 2021 commit in J.D. Davison. He's a five-star point guard from the Calhoun School here in Alabama. 247 Sports has Davison ranked as the number one player inside the state of Alabama. He chose the Crimson Tide over Auburn, Kansas, LSU, Memphis, and Michigan. He joins Ja'Shawn Holt for the Alabama 2021 recruiting class. So Nate Oates keeps on building the program to head in the right direction. 
Don't forget that tomorrow night I'll have an update on Bama and the NFL and more coverage from today's college football action. That's it for sports tonight. I'm William Galloway. We'll be right back after this.